For the 200th edition of Computer Music Magazine, we're giving away Cakewalk's Rapture, which is an advanced wavetable synthesizer, and it really excels at pads, leads, basses, rhythmic sequences, and effects. So we're going to run you through the synth's basic functions now. We're going to create a classic house bass line from scratch to introduce the synth's powerful interface and features. So set up a new project in your door at 124 BPM. Drop housebeat.wav onto a new audio track. Then drop bassriff.mid onto a new MIDI track. Now load up a new Rapture instance on this MIDI track and bring its level down to minus 5 dB. Each program is made up of between one and six elements, and each element contains a wavetable oscillator and its own chain of filters, EQs, effects, envelope generators, step generators, and LFOs. So click on the element buttons along the top, labeled E1 to E6, to open each's editor. And if we right-click on one of these buttons, a drop-down menu appears. And this is where we can load and save individual elements. Click the E1 button to open the Oscillator Editor section. Then click in the right side of the empty slot and choose an oscillator from the drop-down menu. Each of these is a WAV file of a single wave cycle that's looped to give us a sustained note. As well as clicking on the oscillator's name to open the drop-down, we can left and right click on the wave's image to scroll back and forth through the wavetables. Here we'll settle upon 008 square mini .wav. In this section we can also edit key parameters such as transpose, tune, ring mod, multi which is the amount of voices applied, polyphony, phase and detune amongst others. And here we'll click and drag down on the zero in the transpose section to pitch down our tone by minus 12 semitones for a more suitable lower pitch bass. On the top right of E1's editor lies the DSP section, where we can process our element with up to two filters and three different effects. Click the small downwards arrow under the DSP header to open up a drop down menu. And here we can activate and reorder our DSP chain by selecting one of the 14 routing options. And we'll select the first 01 routing option to set up our first filter after the first two effects in the signal path. A choice of drive inserts can be applied to dirty up an element. So open up the second drop down, which is above the DSP1 knob, select soft, and then increase the parameter to only 9.5% for some very subtle drive. And now we'll dampen down this effect with our first filter. So open the first drop down above the left cutoff knob and select LP6, which is a six pole low pass filter, and then bring its cutoff down to roughly 40 hertz. And then we'll set its resonance to about 10.5 dB. Now let's use an envelope over this filter now to create a plucking effect. In the modulator section, select the cut one tab. And we'll start by turning the EG status setting to on to activate the envelope. And we'll set the envelope's depth to around 8,150. So we click and drag here to set this amount. If we hold Control or Command whilst dragging, we can move this in larger increments. And to get this working now, finally, we'll create our custom plucky filter envelope curve. 
So right click in the graph area to create a node. We'll drag this node up to the top left of the graph. And then we'll right click on the bottom right to create a second node. And this has created our envelope shape here. And we can shape this custom curve to taste.